Hello! It's been a while. June was a very hectic month of travel and exciting work things and generally teetering back and forth between feeling like I narrowly had my shit together and just feeling completely overwhelmed. But I got through it. I'm still kind of a mess. I'm sitting on the floor right now because that uh, feels right, but it's a new month, so that's something. Last weekend was VidCon and it was amazing and it gave me endless feelings and I just felt constantly inspired by everyone around me and like I just want to find ways to do things with everyone. We did a workshop thing on how to YouTube that we had also done the previous year with Nick Jenkins, my manager at Complexly, and also my friend and also all around awesome human being. How to YouTube is kind of a weird sort of jumping off point and the hardest part for us was figuring out how to frame it because the one true certainty is that everyone in that room is coming in with vastly different knowledge. One piece of feedback that we got from the previous year was that we started off a little too high level, jumping into technical stuff without really getting into how to actually get started. And so the whole thing wound up being how to imposter syndrome to a certain degree, because a big part of how you get started is to just do it. Like if you have a smartphone and an internet connection, you can do the thing. Obviously there is and was more advice to give than that, but it speaks to much of what I love about my experience of YouTube. In my personal non-professional experience with the platform and the communities that I inhabit, every single person is just kind of figuring shit out. Even the people that I most admire are very much in that place. And if you go back through their years of videos, which you can do, you can see that they have been figuring this out and that it's all a constant process. No one video is an end point. Each one is just a step in an ongoing process. Somebody in the audience asked a very who am I to question about how they felt like nobody would care what they had to say. And Nick gave a really lovely answer about how everyone is worthy of being heard. You are worthy of trying the things that you want to try. I don't really know where all this is going, except to say that if there is something that you are thinking of trying, just go for it. Make what you wanna make, say what you wanna say, and be open to letting the process be the point. Learn from it, enjoy it, or maybe the thing that you learn from it is that you don't actually enjoy it, and maybe it's not for you after all, and that's okay too. Thank you for listening to whatever it is that I just said, and for believing that I am worthy of being heard, I guess. <laughs> uh, you are great. Go do cool shit. Okay, bye!